Grey Worm rides beside his lover during the Targaryen entourage's route through the Wintertown, at the head of the Unsullied forces. Although the totality of Daenerys and her armies are clearly highlighted as being outsiders, to the north, both Missandei and Grey Worm in particular are given suspicious and judgmental looks by the Northmen, presumably due to their obviously foreign nature. However, he and Missandei share a comforting look before the two reach Winterfell. Grey Worm promises Missandei that, after the war, he will take her back to the Isle of Narth along with the Unsullied to protect them. As the White Walkers arrive with the Army of the Dead, Grey Worm leads the Unsullied outside the gates of Winterfell, but not before sharing a passionate kiss with Missandei. Grey Worm commands the Unsullied against the Army of the Dead at the Battle of Winterfell. The Unsullied are overwhelmed by the sheer number of Whites and protect the retreat of the Northern and Vale troops. Grey Worm falls back and is forced to sacrifice some of his men to cut off the bridges across the trenches, preventing the Whites from further advancing. The Whites are able to push through the fire trench, however, and Grey Worm fights Whites inside the gates of Winterfell. He survives to the end of the battle when the Whites fall upon the destruction of the Night King and the White Walkers at the hands of Arya Stark. Grey Worm is present at the War Council discussing the future of Daenerys Targaryen's war for Westeros with the Great War having been won and Cersei having betrayed them. Grey Worm sails together with Missandei back to Dragonstone and is present when the Targaryen fleet is ambushed by Euron, who captures Missandei and delivers her to Cersei in King's Landing. Outside the gates of King's Landing, Grey Worm witnesses Missandei's execution, which fills him with rage. Grey Worm leads the Targaryen forces into the Battle of King's Landing when Daenerys burns down a portion of the city's walls on Drogon. Grey Worm follows in his queen's footsteps. Consumed by vengeance and fueled by bloodlust, he slaughters dozens of surrendered Lannister soldiers and innocent civilians alike. At one point, Grey Worm looks frustratingly at Jon Snow when he tries to hold his forces back from sacking the city. After the Battle of King's Landing, Jon Snow finds him executing captive Lannister soldiers. Jon and Davos argue with him to stop as they're already defeated. Grey Worm says that he's been ordered to kill all Lannister soldiers, and they were at fault for serving Cersei. Jon tries to force him to stop but the Unsullied draw their weapons and Davos defuses the situation by telling Jon to take it up with Daenerys. As they walk away, Grey Worm starts executing the captives. Later at Daenerys's victory speech, the Queen commends Grey Worm for his bravery and loyalty, naming him her Master of War. A few weeks later after the Daenerys's assassination by Jon, Grey Worm escorts Tyrion to be tried in the Dragon Pit for betraying Daenerys. When Sansa Stark asks where Jon is, he asserts that he is their prisoner and they will do as they wish since it was their city now. Sansa threatens him with war, to which he responds in equal measure. Davos thanks the Unsullied for their help and suggests to them to take vacant lands in the Reach where they could start their own house in order to avoid more war, but he rejects the proposition, instead demanding justice. Tyrion however convinces him to let the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms meet out justice and let the lords elect a new king. After Bran Stark is named the new king, he chooses Tyrion to be his hand of the king. Grey Worm opposes this but Bran convinces him by saying he'll spend his life fixing his mistakes. Grey Worm is still unsatisfied and claims it isn't enough. Bran decides to exile Jon into the Night's Watch, which Grey Worm accepts. Later, as Grey Worm is preparing to leave Westeros, he spots Jon being taken to the wall and angrily gazes at him. Another Unsullied tells Grey Worm that all the men have boarded, and Grey Worm states that they are sailing for the Isle of Narth, Masande's homeland. 